Hello YouTube and welcome to the comic book channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing my new pickups for the week of February 13th, 2019. I'll go ahead and get us started with independent books. From Antarctic Press, we got The Devil's Issue Number 1. This one sounds really cool. It was sold out everywhere online, so I was able to grab my copy. So I'm excited to check it out. Next up, for some odd reason from Aftershock, I'm still getting the last space race. This is like left on my pool and I need to tell him to take it off, but there it is. Also sold out was from, sorry, from Amigo Comics was God of Bad Men, issue number one. This is the variant cover. And I also got a copy of the regular cover. So I was really happy to pick those up. Probably put one for sale on eBay uh, based on how they're doing later today and tomorrow. From Boom Studios, got my Sabian's Go Go Power Rangers issue number 17. Wow, this is already all the way up to 17. I remember when this book first came out and I loved the first couple of issues. It's a cool series if you're not reading it. I finally got in my copy of Appalachian Apocalypse. I asked for this like whenever it came out, however long ago that was, November or something. And it my shop didn't get it, so he finally got the one copy that he ordered in and put it in my pool today. So I'm excited to read this. This is over to Image Comics. This is from my uh, favorite filmmaker of all time, Kevin Smith. He has penned uh, season two of Hit Girl. This is issue number one. This is apparently, or this is, sorry, I flipped it open and looked inside. This is a silent issue. So there's no dialogue from Kevin Smith. So that's really crazy. Kevin Smith's trying something different there. No dialogue from him. This should be interesting to check out. I'm going to Definitely open this one up first thing and see what's inside. Also from Image, got Spawn Kills Everyone 2. This is issue number three. Yes, issue number three. Homage to the Infinity Gauntlet, 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 Infinity War storyline there. Over to DC Comics, we got B The Batman Who Laughs, issue number three. Got this really, really nice cover. I'm not interested in this series very much, but I do really like this cover a lot, so I got this one. I ordered a couple offline as well. I had to get my Rob Liefeld Superman issue number eight here. I love whenever Rob Liefeld's doing these covers now. Uh, I like Rob Liefeld a lot. I grabbed, uh, what was it? I can't remember. It was an X-Men comic last week. Can't remember if it was Dead Man Logan or something. Probably not. Something to do with Wolverine. Anyways, he did Wolverine on the cover. Maybe it was Uncanny X-Men issue 11 variant. I don't know. Either way, I grabbed that because it was Liefeld. And I grabbed this, this because it's Liefeld. Got my variant cover here for Wonder Woman issue number 64. This is a, you know, sideways book. So that's annoying, but there we go. Also a variant cover here, and I don't remember who the uh, cover artist on this one is, but this is Red Hood Outlaw, issue number 31. Nice looking cover. Also got the variant here for Hawkman, issue number 9. And I also don't know the cover artist for that. Here we got the variant cover for Detective Comics 998, just a couple away from 1000. Here, something happens in the back of this issue, so we'll check that out and see. Got my variant cover on Scooby Apocalypse, Whoa, issue number 34 here. Got the regular cover for Justice League Dark, issue number 8. This is a really, really good series if you're not reading it. I like it a lot. It's fun. A new number one this week uh, from DC. We've got Wonder Twins, issue number 1. This is the regular cover. I do have... A copy of the variant cover coming in offline as well. Got one of the variant covers here for uh, Avengers No Road Home. This is one that I talked about in my uh, my last video. Sorry, my last video where I was showing the new books that are coming out. And this is the one that I plan to pick up. So this is the one that I picked up. I really like it a lot. It's really interesting there. Really cool line work and stuff. I, I like what's going on on the cover of that. We got a new character in Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, issue number 41. I always pick this up for my personal collection. I know a lot of you probably don't, but I enjoy the book. 
From Marvel, we have Star Wars Age of Republic Count Dooku, issue number one. Also got my Miss Marvel, issue number 38. Yes, I read this book. Yes, I really like it a lot. Sure, maybe I'm the only one. Got my Spider-Gwen Ghost Spider, issue number four, regular issue number five, regular cover here. And my Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 15, regular cover. Got my, whatever the heck the title of this book is, I'm just going to go with Next Gen. It's, it's Age of X-Man something, enter now, Age of X-Man. Age of X-Man, Next Gen? Sure, go with that title. And rounding us off for Marvel, I have a uh, new number one this week. This is The Savage Sword of Conan. So really cool cover art there. I'm excited to read that book. I also grabbed a couple of things. Uh, if you have a second in Charles in your area, they are doing one of their sales. Uh, buy two comics, get one free. So I'll just go over some of the books that I grabbed from them really quick. Probably won't say much about them. I picked up another copy of Bloodstone issue four. Always pick this uh, mini series up whenever I see any issues of it. Uh, got a variant cover for uh, Dark Knight three and Master Race for a dollar, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I had not heard of this book. This is a DC book called Rain and Hell. Apparently, uh, Bill Sienkiewicz does some interiors, so definitely picked that up. A book that I had not heard of uh, from Mark Wade, at, um, sorry, over at Boom Studios. This is The Unknown, and this is the B cover, and it's a very nice B cover, so I picked it up. Got a uh, variant for Howard the Duck, number one, whatever volume this is, three, I guess. Uh, this was a cool series. I read it as it was coming out, but I didn't have this variant, so picked that up. Got another copy of Gotham Academy, Gotham Academy issue number one. Definitely picked up this Adam Hughes uh, Wonder Woman 189. It's not in great condition. There's, you know, some uh, some folding there and maybe a few like water spots. But either way, it's an Adam Hughes Wonder Woman. So I picked it. Up. I picked it up. I can not talk at all today. Uh, in the dollar bin, for some odd reason, there was a copy of Immortal Hulk 12. So even though this is already on my pool and I get it every month, I picked up another copy of that for a dollar. Got the Batman Chronicles number one here. I'm not too sure what that is, but it's something. So I picked it up. Uh, here's a series that I just cannot seem to flesh out no matter how hard I try. This is a mini series by Kevin Smith, Batman, The Widening Gyre. Uh, Really awesome artwork. Um, I hope to complete this one day, but we'll see. Love that cover art, though. Really good. Uh, grabbed a copy of Amazing Spider-Man 643, and I didn't realize because they put their tag over this uh, that's on the cover of the book, so that sucks. Good thing it was only a dollar, and it was buy two, get one free. Um... Got a variant of X-Force number three here. Uh, was able to get X-Force number four as well. And a variant on five. And also issue number six with the regular cover there. From Archie Comics, I got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant, uh, Mutant Universe source book issue number three. Just thought that was fun. I'll, there's three of these, so I'll try to grab the other two if I see them ever. Uh, got the Avengers issue 255. I just like the cover on this one. I, I've picked up a few. Uh, Marvel Portraits of a Universe, book one. These are really cool. There's like a four-part mini. They're just interesting stuff. Cool stuff to look at. Uh, I'm always trying to flesh out Animal Man volume one. So here's issue number eight, which I didn't have. And issue number 27, which I didn't have as well. So that is great. Uh, got this really cool cover for Superman 66. Like that one a lot. Some cool 90s throwback stuff. Uh, I like this cover a lot as well. And it's written by Brian Azriello, so I picked it up. This is uh, Superman 206. And then uh, 
I've fleshed out my New Mutants run like 10 times over, but I'm still picking up New Mutants books anytime there's a good deal on them, uh, especially with these covers. This is issue 29. We got issue 30, 31, 36, 37, 38, 39, and then 41. So like I said, anytime I see any new Mutants books for, you know, a dollar or less that are in acceptable condition, I just pick them up. Uh, I know they're like 50 cent bin books and you can probably find them anywhere, but I, that's my favorite Marvel series. So I am fine filling up like 10 long boxes with just New Mutants Volume 1. Uh, got some incredible Hulk books that I didn't have. This is issue 385. Um, we got 386. And 387 as well. And those are my pickups for the day, uh, for the week of February 13th, 2019. Like I said, got my new books from my comic book shop. Got uh, the, you know... Dollar Ben books from uh, Second and Charles with a buy two, get one free. So again, if you have one in your area, go scope them out. If you dig, you can find some cool stuff. I didn't really have a lot of time to dig today, so I just grabbed those books, but I'm fine with that. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. We're almost right there at that 400 subscriber mark. So as I said, I will be doing a uh, giveaway once we hit 400 subscribers give away some cool graphic novels. I'll make a video on that later. Once we get uh, to 400, we'll show what we're gonna give away. I'll show what I'm gonna give away and uh, you guys can see and you'll all be automatically entered if you're subscribed. If you are not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. That's the only way to win some of these graphic novels and trade paperbacks that I'll be giving away. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a thumbs up and for the love of God, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys picked up for the week. I It's the only way I can find out what cool books I missed out on. So please do let me know what you picked up. Let me know what awesome stuff I missed out. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.